Good day, YouTubers. So I did a video a while back on making burley, and I had a small mincer for doing that. A few of you asked me where I got the mincer, and I put a link in the video description for that. However, since then I had a little bit of a mishap. I was cleaning the mincer out, take it out in the yard, and just give it a hose off. I threw all the bits and pieces in a bucket, my wife took it in to dry it off and put it away. And somehow during that operation we lost the cutting blade for it. I'm not sure how that happened, but we looked all over the place and couldn't find it. I suspect that it ended up in the rubbish somehow. Nevertheless, I needed a new cutting blade, and instead of getting that, I decided I'd get a larger mincer. main reason behind that was that that smaller mincer was just a little bit too small for some of the bycatch that I was bringing home. You know, things like grinners and pike and that, they'd go through the mincer, but it was a little bit of an effort. So I thought I'd get a bigger mincer and make that easier. Then I could put some mullet and stuff through as well, make some really good burley with that. So this isn't a fishing video, it's just all about how I went about setting up the burley mincer ready for use. Be sure to watch through to the end and I'll show you how I store my burley ready for use these days. I'm just going to mount this mincer that I bought on a piece of board. Make it easy to use. Not the best use of a screwdriver, but I'm not hitting it hard, and it was convenient. Now, the method in my madness. Have enough room to rotate the handle without skinning your knuckles. And I'll cut that off back about there, clamp this bit to the table, then I can just take that and put it away, out of the way. And that's the idea behind it. Where the cut here, that should be plenty long enough for where I'm going to use it. And there we are. Done deal. Gee, I love these saws. I don't have a battery operated circular saw, I'd probably use that, but that's a, a saber saw or whatever you call it. It's just tremendous. I use it for so much these days. Just for the convenience of having a battery operated saw, one thing. But uh, it's also great, better than a jigsaw, unless you need to do curvy bits, but if you just want to do a quick straight cut, perfect. Take this up now and put him away. Fix my wife's drawer while I was on the job. Just jamming a little bit, getting in and out, so it'll be right now. In my last video on Burley, what I did was I had these long, thin plastic bags, and I was stuffing them full of Burley, and then just stripping the plastic out and putting them in a big Burley bucket and lowering that down. So I haven't been able to get those plastic bags anymore. So what I'm doing now is I get some newspaper, just ordinary newsprint. You don't want any glossy paper because you want it to dissolve in the water. Uh, butcher's paper is all right too. And I wrap up the burley, mince the burley up, wrap it up in this, and then get it straight in the freezer, in a plastic bag, of course, before it's got time to soak through the paper. So drop it in, wrap it up in a plastic bag, straight in the freezer. And then when I'm ready to use it, I just get a, a mesh bag. Onion bags are really good for this. Throw it in there with a rock and close it up. Put a clip through the top of it and just drop that overboard. Leave it there for you know, three, four, five minutes and then give it a jiggle and the paper just falls away. It's all dissolved into the water and the burly starts to come out. And that's all there is to it. The onion bag is just coarse enough to let it go out but fine enough to slow it down to a reasonable amount to spread around. I've been using this system for a little while now and it seems to work really well. And that's it, it's a nice simple idea. Just note that I don't put any chicken pellets in with this burley now. You could if you wanted to, I just don't find them necessary anymore. I just use the raw mince and it seems to work fine. Put a little bit of fish oil in with it when I mince it, that doesn't hurt. Or even after you mince it, just mix it through. I think that does well, but the chicken pellets I find aren't needed. They do bulk it out a little bit, but I'm getting plenty of bycatch in the way of pike and grinners, etc. Plus I've got leftover bait, mince it all in, 
and I seem to have plenty of barley without having to bulk it out with the chicken pellets. The other thing I do add a little bit of is bread and maybe some aniseed oil if you've got any of that. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. I have a separate bake freezer. I don't think your wife will appreciate you putting this in her freezer. So anyway, I hope this helps you with your fishing. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. Until next time, good fishing.